And for new to one another, my name is Jamie and on this channel I will talk about tech, lifestyle, and all sorts of solutions. And although pairing your iPad to your PlayStation 5 for remote play is not a relatively new concept, it was new to me, so therefore it might be new to you. And when I found this, I was absolutely floored, so I just had to share it. I'll make this super quick and to the point. Of course, you'll still need a PlayStation 5, as well as an iPad that's running at least iOS 14.5, or later. This solution is super helpful if you do want to play in a room that's outside of where your PS5 lives in, or perhaps someone's already using that TV or monitor. And I'm just realizing that I could even take this outside on my porch. How exciting is that? Now, both the PS5 as well as the iPad will need to be connected to your home Wi-Fi. And although you could use the display of your iPad to play, I'd recommend using a DualSense controller. So we'll start with pairing that first. All you gotta do is open up your iPad settings, go to Bluetooth, and on the DualSense controller, just click on the Create button in the top right and the PS button in the center. It will glow and that's when you can release it and it will pop up on your iPad. Just click on the iPad to finish the pair. And then once you do have your DualSense controller paired, all you gotta do is download the PS Remote Play app from the App Store. I'll go ahead and link it down below. But once it's downloaded, just make sure you sign in using the same account profile that's on your PS5. And then lastly, to get all of this working, just go to your PS5 settings, go to system, enable remote play, toggle that on. Mine already is, but it's turned off by default. I also recommend going to power saving, features available in rest mode, stay connected and toggle that on only if you want to be able to remote in at any time. But remember that only puts your PS5 to sleep and it will continue consuming power. And that's it. Once you've done that, just go ahead and go back to your iPad open up the PS Remote Play app, select your PS5 if you do happen to have more than one in your home, and you should be good to go. Latency with Remote Play is absolutely fantastic, and the iPad gives off such immersive sound, it's absolutely great. Best of all, it's free. Couple more things to note real quick is that your PS5 will always be running in the background, so make sure it's connected to power as well as access to the internet. You could also do this with your iPhone if you choose, but your cellular connection will vary, so definitely connect to Wi-Fi whenever possible. Again, short, sweet, and to the point, my partner and I have been sharing Tears of the Kingdom, so now I can just focus on 100% completion of Hogwarts Legacy while he's exploring higher role. Now, if this was at all helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, see ya.